Hey guys, it's VMK9, and today we're starting off with coins. Um. Ooh, sorry about that. So, today we're going to be doing the Ice Block Blaze, and it's a sculpture of ice, and there's a shine spread in it. Did I keep that right? All right, so um, I would like to point out that this is in the left transition, which we haven't gone to yet because we've only done the first task so far. And um, yeah. Now here's a star coin. Now the best way to do this is to go like this, and of course I screw up the timing. But you can do it without getting crushed a single time. I've done it before. And that's proof. I'd also like to point out, real quick, that you can stand on this. Can't stand on this, but you can stand on this one. Alright. Now the ice block maze is over here on this platforming section. And he didn't realize how huge this snowman this ice block place is. Oh, look, it's another star coin. And oh, look, it's a. Oh, hmm. Maybe we can go up here. Nope, he put a coin inside a block. Why? Why, running no. out? Why? Why? Why do you. How did that work? Cutting. Alright, I'd like to show the cool way to getting up here. Ha ha. What I was trying to do. I really don't see why they have regular blocks, regular breakable blocks, and glass breakable bro blocks. Mm. All right. So now that we're done doing that, sheesh. And we get another one up. Um, we'll be doing the next task in the next episode. Except it doesn't work because the counter is is there, and it's it's got a large sector remaining. So Chief Chili is in the same area as the ice block maze, just in the opposite direction of the ice block maze. Yeah, that didn't make much sense to me either. And want to go up here. Oh, be quiet. Shouldn't that fall down? It just looks weird. I'm sorry, but it does. You're supposed to break both of them at the same time, but... See, they usually break on the, at the same time, too. So do it like Mario would. And then you realize, oh, I wasn't supposed to go over here, I was supposed to go over here. So we got another map here, and it says we're here. Which means Chief Chili is right there. Oh, no. It's a... Yeah, you can walk through him. Now, I'd like to point out that the best way to do this is that... Yep. This battle is so easy if you just do that. See? I'm going to get the shine. <laughs> How did that work, Mario? Alright, so we will be continuing this episode and maybe we'll get all the way through. So, red coins of the summit in skies. There's a, the last star coin, which it said 5 out of 6, is up here, which I had mentioned in the first episode, and said that I do it with the related task, which is unnecessarily wordy. Now, here it shows you, just like, um, Bomb on Battlefield, 
did where the red coins are. So there's one, two, three here. And now the first one. Oh no, it's the wind cap. It's right there. And how did I miss that? Oh my gosh, frame rate. Slow down, frame rate. <laughs> Now, if you're playing as Luigi, it's about eight times harder to get those red coins and star coins. Because uh, Luigi's wing cap stage is very glitchy. Um, for instance, um, there, if you switch, go through a transition, dang it, I was trying to do that. It worked anyway, so. Um, he'll turn into like. Mario with all the power-ups all at once, even though he's supposed to be Luigi with just a wing cap. He doesn't do any special stuff like you'd expect him to. He doesn't sink or go through those great things which we haven't gotten to just yet. Um, another suicidal shy guy. Um, it's just a weird bug that I can't really explain. I've had a video up, plug, um, <laughs> that, um, had a really weird death thing for Luigi. Um, yeah, it, it was really weird. Anyway, the last red coin is on top of this mountain, I guess. That was an interesting <laughs> last coin yet. Watch me fall off the mountain. I'm psychic! <laughs> right in the slate. Ah, uh, that was awesome. That's for the books. There we go. So now we've got plenty of time to do the last task, and then we're going to be moving on to Bowser. Which I'm actually probably going to have to cut halfway through, or maybe I'll just end this part off when I. The backyard, which is out here, I will show you. Now Bowser's is unlocked here, which I'm not going to go in there yet, just yet, but I will show off the backyard, which is really nice, because it's the back of the castle, but we're going to be continuing in Snowman's Land, come on the door Mario, thank you, I'm going to go get my coins. Coin, 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 So, this last one is called The Secret of the Igloo, which is where the, I pointed out that igloo before. But I'm going to be showing the other way to get to, um, uh, the snowman, because it's also the best way to get to the igloo. How did that work? I was spinning! That's death. Say hello, everybody. Well, the show off that you can just go right over cheap chili and also burn. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that there's blue lava down there. You be quiet. I'm trying to tell people about the blue lava, which is rather weird. It's icy lava, really. And I would like to leave this battle. Goodbye. And here we are in the snowman. At the snowman. At the snowman person. Coin. Let's get coin. Now, I'd like to mention that... Um... First of all, you can say hello here. Uh, that Bowser Jr. is in here. Oh no, where did they go? So you can sink here, so it's actually dangerous platforming, even though it really doesn't look so like it should be. 
because you're kind of floaty when you're metal. Which just kind of sounded weird. Oh, shh. That was not my idea. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And this has to tell you that you can travel through certain walls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys can't get at me. It's so funny. Ha <laughs> ha, you all died. And you did too. So there's no need to worry here. You can literally just... You can actually go through enemies. That's the coolest part about the invisible star. No, I don't really have, well, know why he has these there. I mean, it's not like it's platforming or anything. So now it's playing the uh, metal music for um, Invincible Mario. I'm not sure why this is. Maybe it was intended. I don't know. But anyway, we can swim so we can get through here. And we don't have to be invisible so we can actually get up here. Plus we won't sink. And there's another jump cut. Okay. So... Now that we're done with that, the secret of the igloo, we can move on to our next task, which will be collecting coins. Nom 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 nom. Which is actually not going to be Bowser, not just yet, because I'd like to point out that this level here. You can do a lot of sequence breaking with the floods. And there's also a secret passageway here. But I'm going to leave that for the very end when I do a whole bunch of secrets all in one video. Yup. It's going to be awesome. But that will be later. Because right now we're going inside the pyramid. And the ancient. I spelled ancient wrong, too. The ancient pyramid of shifting sand land is the Burial site of the Koopa Pharaoh. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. So, um, here we are in hot, hot desert. Oh no way! But it is hot. I can stand it. Oh, what are you doing here? This is the desert. That's it's for shop guys and bomb arms. Because apparently that makes sense to some people. Um, this will allow you to go through metal gates along with this weird thing that this guy over here will kindly explain to us. Our excavational teams haven't yet dug up this temple structure here. However, the sand doesn't seem to be any normal sound. Walking through and oh my gosh, it's a shower going. Darn it. I hit don't save. Alright, and I'm back. And I'd just like to point out that um, there's a star coin up towards the top there. Or, that's not what I was going to point out. But I'd like to point out that you can use, if you have a rocket flood or a hover flood, you can get through, get this star coin without having to kill yourself. And, um,. That's nice because you don't lose life. I'd also like to point out that the pyramid ends, but you can. There's no more. Dang it. Well, that was kind of cool. So, this level is crazy easy if you've already done Bowser and gotten your other floods. Oh, my MG split. And so, as I was saying before Quicksand rudely interrupted me, um, this quicksand is insta death if you fall down it. Alright, and I'd like to point out real quick, I'd like to point out that you can rocket up and then get, go up there um, just by launching off of this weird platform type thing. Um, with the rocket flood, if you've already fought Bowser and you're playing on this. 
or if you're with the game and you're playing with it. Never mind. Alright, so I'm going to show that there's some platforming here, and also that you can do this. Get on the platform. Thank you, Mario. Thank you so much for getting on the platform. And this goes unreasonably fast. Alright, and here we are. That was a long cut. And look at my life count. Life, life count? Life count? Something. Sounds like something from network TV. Oh, look, it's a star coin. You can jump and press X to break the bricks that are right here. Or. Or you can, yeah, thank you. Or you can jump from over here and go in here and press spacebar to save it. And then grab this and we're good. So that's Shifting Sandland. And then, so I hope you like this episode. Subscribe, comment, that sort of stuff. See you guys next episode.